The Bioregional Habitat Program is really a great program because it was really important to provide opportunity to local residents. So the PUC partnered with uh, 261 through our project labor agreement to identify how we can go about including more residents participating in these construction projects. An excellent example of the current collaboration that we have with Local 261 in the Public Utilities Commission is the fact that you have a number of youngsters who were previously unemployed, high risk, but most importantly you now have six individuals who have developed skill sets that will help them throughout their life and their career. Habitat restoration it is a pretty revolutionary thing. This is one of the first programs in its kind, especially of this scale. And this class right here is likewise revolutionary. It's the first time that we've developed a program to train habitat restoration specialists. This helps us prepare individuals to come into the laborers program uh, and our local, uh, a good quality, competent worker. And so that benefits our signatory contractors. As they're performing this work, these individuals have the skill set to perform that work and, and help be on time and on budget for the project. You know, to me, the greatest aspect of this program is it's making a difference in people's lives. Uh, it's making a difference uh, in the individual's lives uh, because it's giving them uh, meaningful skills. Uh, they're going to be valuable not only in this particular program, but in other jobs as they continue in their careers. They're being trained, they're getting hands-on skills, they're getting classroom training, and which eventually will lead to on-the-job training, an opportunity uh, for a good paying job and a good paying career. You know, it's really inspiring and it's what we all drive for. The biggest part of this for me is when trainees succeed. You gotta be able to take the ball running and these trainees, that's exactly what they've been doing ever since they've been here. This is the first program that I've been lucky enough to develop specifically for habitat restoration. I feel it's quite unique, the skills that we're teaching our participants are not skills that you normally take in a class. What we've tried to do is take a classroom and translate it into an outside hands-on experience. It's not as straightforward as you as think. You do true. have to think a little bit about uh, yeah. the conditions. So if you take, for example, this bowl here, think that's a huge water catchment area. Goes here. Right. The instructors are very supportive. Um, they answered any question I have. They have been very patient with me knowing the type of background I came from. They put together a great training program for people like me, you know, who doesn't have this in their background. And, um, and it's been a very big help. Being a woman in this program is just, it pushes, it pushes me to be more. You know, as long as you give me the knowledge, help me with my skills, you know, give me some feedback, I will push and do, you know, 200%. I think I'm setting a good example for my son because I can see it in him. And every time I see him, pick him up from school, he's like, hey, Dad, wow, you got this vest on. I'm like, yes, yeah, construction, son. It's good work, you know. And uh, I can see it in him. He's smiling. He's happy, you know. He's happy that I'm, I'm doing something positive, you know, for not just me, for him, too. I'm a hard worker. Me coming from where I came from in life, I feel so honored and I'm all getting teary about it, but I feel honored of my position right now. And I'm what I'm headed for now, I, could, I see a lot right now. I mean, I'm actually having fun with learning new things, hands-on. It's a great opportunity. I'm so appreciative of it, you know? I've, I've had a lot of struggles in my past. I've you know, been in and out of jail. I've done all kinds of crazy stuff with my life. And this has really been my first hope of having a future and being a normal part of society and doing something that really I care about. So doing this is something I believe in and I'm passionate about. And getting in the union, having the union benefits, getting this training, uh, that will really set me apart in the field is just more than I could have ever asked for. So it's really touching to me. If we want to keep our environment, we have to maintain it and that means habitat restoration.